And if anyone wants the public road in their township neighborhood repaved as a special assessment district, they should talk to the township about preparing a petition that neighbors will have to sign. Reporting live in Livingston County, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. And they just want the roads fixed. All right, Kim, thank you. And a lot of people want to know how these potholes actually form. What is the science behind it? Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth for the answer, Dave. A secret wand is waved every spring, Alan. That's the problem. It seems like it, right? They just pop up out of nowhere, and they are tough to deal with. Sometimes they feel like craters, damage to the car, all that kind of stuff. So here's how it works. The basic idea is quite simple. You know we've talked about this a lot. you got to have some moisture around on the roads. You get that from melting, and you got to go back through the freeze and thaw cycle and when you get all that going at the same time you got to beware because these potholes grow and they grow very very quickly look at the temperatures now for the rest of the week tomorrow high temperature in the 40s then down to the 20s thursday and friday in the 30s after we're in the 20s so we go back and forth around that freezing mark and this is how it actually works the roads should be impermeable, but you cannot stop water from getting through the road level down to the sub base. And when you do that, that's when the problems start. The water gets down here in the sub base, does not go down to the soil, so it sits there, freezes, expands, pushes some up, some out. And what happens is eventually when that water goes away again, the melting, it leaves this void and the weight of the cars come over that spot over and over and over again. There's no support from the base below and the pavement collapse and you get a pothole. That's the science behind it, but not solving the pain behind it as well. Yeah, that's true. All right, Dave, thank you.